New tonight at six, a Bedford woman is facing disturbing allegations about her nonprofit in Uganda. Renee Bach is being sued for allegedly operating a medical facility without a license, leading to the death of hundreds of children. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell is digging into this and she is live in the newsroom. Jessica. We got our hands on this copy of the lawsuit. The Women's Pro Bono Initiative and two mothers filed this civil suit in a court in Uganda, saying actions by the group, the nonprofit serving his children, led to the deaths of their children. The allegations stirring up a firestorm of criticism, and tonight the woman taking the heat is firing back. Our focus is malnutrition, so we um, do preventative care programs and then also treatment services. Less than two years ago, we sat down with Renee Bach to talk about her nonprofit, Serving His Children. Its mission, fighting malnutrition in Uganda, clearly outlined on its website. When mothers come to Serving His Children, many of them have lost hope. But now some are blaming the organization not just for losing hope, but losing lives. Two mothers and the women's pro bono initiative suing Bach and serving his children. Court documents say they were led to believe Bach was a medical doctor, claiming she unlawfully practiced medicine and offered medical services to unsuspecting vulnerable children. In these now deleted images, she's seen wearing a stethoscope, administering care to children. The plaintiffs say they only learned after their children died, Bach had no proper medical training. Her attorney's response? The people in Uganda aren't that stupid. I mean, there's almost a, a racist undertone in this that somehow they would not understand that this was a girl that had gone over as a late teen and served there for a decade. They knew exactly who she was and what she was doing. David Gibbs dismissing the claims as false. He says his client learned skills to help provide assistance as necessary, but always under supervision of a qualified medical professional. We anticipate prevailing because there's just no factual basis for the allegations that are being put forward. Fighting a lawsuit threatening to end an organization that Gibbs says has done a world of good. Ultimately, the loser in this would not be the organization or even Renee, but the ultimate loser would be the children that wouldn't be helped. Box attorney who you just heard from is working with her legal team in Uganda because the legal system works different there. It could take months before the judge decides how to move forward. In the newsroom, I'm Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.